What's up, buddies? Super Jim Mikey here. Welcome back to another design video. Okay, so I've done two project videos already. This is going to be my third one. And this time what I'm going to be making is a custom catapult. So, I wouldn't exactly call it a catapult, maybe more like a, just a marble launcher to broaden the definition, since we're not exactly shooting a marble up like this. We're actually going to be, I have already drawn it to save time. We have a marble that's going to be sitting right about here on this little pedestal of some sort, a T. And there's going to be this hammer that is attached to a spring here. There's gonna be a little lock here somewhere. And the hammer is going to swing. Once the lock comes loose, this hammer is gonna swing and it will hit the marble and the marble will shoot out this way. So I have another example here where there's this, this beam lock and the servo is gonna be down up here, which pushes on the beam lock, pushing this end down and this end up to free this little peg so that it, the hammer can then keep going. So I think this is pretty clear. So I think we should get to designing. Okay, so I now have the CAD all done right here. We have every piece that I think will make our thing functional. So I have not um, dragged our electronics box into the assembly, but if I go into the assembly again, we can see everything pretty much um, arranged how it will be. So essentially, I'll reiterate, the servo will push this way. It'll be in its original state over here, and it'll push this way. We'll hit this, this will pull up, and it will release Whoa. <laughs> um, it will release, once it pushes up, it will release this thing and this will get launched all the way over here and it will hit the ball so that it launches that way somewhere. <clears throat> so I think they're, I mean, this looks pretty much solid. I think we're ready to go straight into um, printing and assembly. After multiple iterations, I finally came up with a design that worked. Alright, so it is now fully assembled. Um, and everything is mostly working here. So we have in this box, we have of course the electronics. You can only see the edge of it. There's a little Arduino in there. And then we have the battery here, which when I want to turn it on, I'll just plug it in straight in there. This is the remote receiver. Then this over here on this side, we have our little servo, which will be pushing on this, which if we can, if I can frame this properly, when this is properly inserted, it's gonna lock. And as soon as the servo releases it, it will launch it out. So all that's left is prime it. Let's get a little marble ready. I got my remote here. And it looks like it's, it is getting false ones, but... Whoa! Okay, that was the first test I actually ever did. And <laughs> it launched all the way over. Right there. It's a bit hard to see, but... Well, I'm very happy with this. I could definitely modify this and we could make it launch even further. But for a first episode, I think that's very nice. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. If you did, please do leave a like, subscribe if you're new and you like my content, leave a comment or reply to you guys, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.